everyone, welcome back. So I have here a Harbor Freight 798 um, hand axe or hatchet or mini axe, whatever you want to call it. And it's actually surprisingly a very nice axe. It holds a really sharp edge. When you run a file over it, it's pretty hard. A um, couple things I don't like about it was it was covered in this black paint. Um, and it obviously has this plastic handle. So I was in the market for another little bushcraft axe. And I do have some other ones. Um, I have my S-Wing, which I love with the Sportsman with the leather uh, handle. I have uh, a, a uh, Self-Reliance Outfitters um, little forged Colonial Virginia axe, um, which is a nice axe. But that one's just a little too small handle-wise. So I decided um, I wanted to get a Gransford's Brook. Okay, yeah, wow. They are expensive. So, since this really is some good steel, again, I guess sometimes you get lucky. Um, and I use this to chop out roots, and uh, I use it to process my fat wood. And I'll tell you what, again, very, very sharp edge. So I started doing some work on this, and I'm going to modify it. Um, First thing I did was remove that. It was just epoxied in, so I drilled it out and then just uh, gave it a couple taps and it came out it's surprisingly straight. I um, so the plan is to remove some material and I like those little wings. I think they call them on the side. I like that look. So I'm going to cut this out here and I'm going to cut this out here, okay, so that I could choke up on it. And I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to uh, make this straight here. Those Granfords, Brooks, hopefully I'm saying the right Brook or whatever. Um, they're kind of straight here and they actually kind of go down a little bit there. But uh, I'm not, you know, not trying to pass this off as being one of those, obviously. Um, but I like that design. So I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cut this. And I won't bore you watching me cut it. What I'm going to basically do is... Take my four inch angle grinder and make a series of cuts up to the line and then take that off. And uh, when I get to that stage, I'll bring you back and I'll show you what I got. Because this is a pound and a quarter head and I'd like to get it down to at least a pound, maybe even a little less. Um, because I really kind of choke up on this a lot. And I, and I like it to be a little bit lighter. Not much, you know, maybe like I said, a quarter pound or a little bit more. Um, I'd like to thin this profile out a little bit too. Um, this is a project where I'd love to just send this to uh, my brothers, uh, Jamie uh, or uh, Rocket Ages, Journey North, <laughs> Jamie. And uh, I'm sure they would make this thing beautiful. But it's the first time I'm really kind of working on an axe to try to reprofile it. And I uh, figured I'd bring you along and we'll see what we can do. All right. So after an hour and five minutes, this is what I got. Um, I'm really digging it. Now, weight-wise, um, started out at 20 ounces. And now it's at 18.7 ounces. So I didn't lose a lot of weight doing this. Um, Oh, get away here for a fly. Um, but uh, I still got some more grinding on it to go. I did it with the 4-inch uh, angle grinder and a little bit on my um, belt sander. And like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to straighten this out. I kind of like that bell shape. I may just clean it up. Um, yeah, but I'm liking the way it looks. So let me uh, get at this a little bit more with the belt sander and try to get out all my little marks that I made in there. Like this little shelf in here, I'll try to smooth that transition out. And then we're gonna have to start to think about uh, if I want to narrow the blade. And again, I'm not a big ax guy, so I'm not really sure. Um, it actually doesn't look very perpendicular. It looks like it's got a little bit extra here. So I may try to straighten that out a little bit um probably end up getting it down to if i had a guess i'm going to say 18 ounces that would be my guess but uh 
I'm liking it so far. I could just picture my hand on here, getting all the way up into there to do some fine tasks with this. So hopefully it ends up coming out the way I envisioned it. Um, and then the next big thing is I don't have any hickory. I know that's the perfect handle material. Um, but I do have a nice oak log that's been seasoned for about a year or so. I may attempt to split that and make an oak handle out of it. But I'm not sure yet. So there you go. Let me do some more cleaning up and I'll bring you back. Alright, so I finished uh, cleaning it up. I'm very, very pleased with how it came out. Got one little mark right there. Couldn't get out. It's a little deeper than I wanted to mess around with. Got it pretty straight. So I was going to bring it to a high polish. Then I decided against that because I don't know if you could see, but I could actually see my fingerprints on there. And it would have been a bear to keep this uh, looking pristine. And um, I'm going to be using it a lot. So uh, I'd like to put it in a forge and get that black forge black on it. But... The temper of this is perfect as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I didn't even sharpen it yet, and this thing is shaving my fingernail. So um, I decided to cold blue it. Um, I have uh, other videos of me uh, bluing things, especially the awl. The uh, awl was blued. I'm just going to use a cold blue because no matter what blue I use, even if I rust blue it, it's eventually going to be wearing off because, like I said, I plan on using this thing. So I'm just going to give it a cold blue, and uh, I'll be back, and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so I got it blued. I really like the way it came out. Looking nice. A little bit of oil still on there. And then when I sharpen it, you'll see that contrast there. And then I attempted to make a handle. I had mentioned that I had um, some oak logs. Well, they were all uh, dry rotted. So I did have this one piece of a branch and I uh, cleaned it up it's got really good grain but it's got a bunch of knots in it um, I tried to get this one out and it ended up making it a little too thin here um, so I, I really I spent about an hour and a half on this I should have stopped after about five minutes as soon as I cut it and saw all those knots I should have uh, pretty much ditched it so um, I'm not going to be going to the store anytime soon and it seems that the wood is more expensive than buying a handle that's already made. So I'm probably going to end up buying a hickory handle that's already made. And I'll, I'll modify it and fit it to this head. And uh, I'll make that a part too. So everyone, thanks for your views. Thanks for all your comments. I really, really appreciate it. I hope this video finds you all well and safe and sound. And uh, we'll see you on part two. Thank you.